receive the best of care. Active in the recreational, as well as the spiritual pursuits of the city, is the YMCA, which just recently dedicated its new building, which includes a 60 by 25 foot swimming pool. Here, the youngsters of Sheboygan also learn of loyalty to flag and country and the meaning of patriotism. For many of them, the Pledge of Allegiance is first learned at YMCA ceremonies, such as this. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And basic to all activities of the YMCA is the Christian faith and the worship of God. 1939 saw the organization of the YMCA in Sheboygan. It came about when some 500 high school boys and girls presented a signed petition to the editor of the Sheboygan Press. In their petition, the youngsters pointed out the need for some kind of facilities for activities such as the YMCA. This led to the joint effort by business and professional men in Sheboygan to organize a YMCA, which set up shop first in Mead Hall, connected to the first congregational church. It soon became apparent, however, that larger facilities would be required with the expanding teenage program, as well as other activities for men and boys. In the next few years, property was acquired on the lakefront on Broughton Drive and some $700,000 was raised through public solicitation. Construction of the new building was begun in 1953, and its dedication accomplished in 1955. And today, Sheboygan boasts one of the finest YMCA facilities in the nation. Thus, adding to the influences of the family, the school, and the church is the YMCA of Sheboygan bonding the youth of the city in the friendship circle, forging tomorrow's citizens. Yet no community's program for its youth can be complete unless it remembers those whom others have forgotten or have been unable to provide them with recreational attention and care for their well-being. The Sheboygan camp for underprivileged children each year sees to it that the city's less fortunate children have the opportunity to attend a camp to learn and do the out-of-doors activities which most children can enjoy. The word gemutlichkeit is often a misused term when describing the good life of a people or community but it is the right word to use in Sheboygan. Again, the German antecedents come to the fore in this city, for today's citizens, as did their forefathers, seek recreation and play just as diligently as they do their daily work. And in Sheboygan, the symbol of Gemutlichkeit is bratwurst and beer. In the summertime, the evening air is filled with the aromatic smoke of thousands of backyard grills, as this favorite sausage is fried over charcoal. Beer, and Brockworth, in the backyard, or in the city's parks, the badge of good living as the city plays. On Sundays and holidays, for instance, there are many activities to help digest the Brockworth, as well as sharpen the appetite for more, such as a day at the zoo in Ballrath Park, or any of the 13 other city parks, comprising some 300 acres. The largest of these parks for the recreation of Sheboygan is Evergreen, sometimes called Pine Woods. It covers some 135 acres of spacious and individualized picnic areas in the midst of some of the oldest pine trees in the area. On the city's northeast side is Ballrath Park, comprising some 16 acres of the finest landscaping in any park of comparable size. Kiwanis and the land parks are also show places of the park system. And the universal sport of any Wisconsin man, woman or child is fishing. And in Sheboygan, he can use the fly rod right in the city's park. 
The Sheboygan River has long served the city, both as a harbor as well as providing natural industrial sites for the early manufacturing plants. In recent years, it had contributed its share to the city's recreation. On the river's graceful horseshoe sweep through the heart of the city, the outboard enthusiasts try out their craft in the summer months. Sheboygan's natural endowment of sheltered water has done much to encourage the growth and development of this sport. Kiwanis Park, lining the river on the west side, is the base for the boatmen. As launching platforms have been constructed to facilitate this sport, On weekends, the roar and sputter of the Atwaters, the Mercuries, the Evan Roods, and Johnstons attest the wide popularity of motorboating. The outboards, of course, are Johnny-come-latelys of the boating fraternity. At the Sheboygan Yacht Club, one will find the larger craft of the inboard yachts for lake cruising, as well as sailboats of all classes and varieties. In July of each year, these boats must endure the whine of the outboards when the Sheboygan Outboard Motor Club plays host to more than 100 entrants from Wisconsin and Illinois for a day of outboard racing in the harbor. But the sailboats have been in Sheboygan Harbor for over a century. Although a hundred years ago, they were the graceful lakers that shipped timber and furs to other ports of call along the Great Lakes. These are their descendants, dedicated to sport and pleasure. Like most lake cities, the area's recreational activities in the summer months are centered about the cool blue waters of Lake Michigan. The land park sprawls along 44 acres of the lake on the north side, providing ample bathing beaches and other facilities. These include baseball diamonds, illuminated tennis courts, and a huge parking area for waterfront events. One of the biggest such attractions at the land is the annual 4th of July celebration when the fireworks displays reflect their fiery grandeur in the night black of the lake waters. Other bathing facilities are provided at other parts of the city, including General King Park on the south side, as well as auxiliary beaches at Clifton on the north side and High Avenue on the south side. If it is true that park time is treasure time in fun, health, and happiness, then the citizens of Sheboygan are indeed endowed with ample measure. Many Sheboyganites remember the old swimming hole of their boyhood days many years ago at the quarry. Well, the old swimming hole is still there, although some would hardly recognize it today, since it is now included in Evergreen Park and is maintained and supervised by the city's park system. The quarry beach opens on June 15 of each year and closes after Labor Day. The lake beaches are open on the 1st of July and are closed on August 31st. There are numerous smaller park areas studied throughout all sections of the city, each equipped with various facilities depending on the size of the park area. The park system provides 34 separate services for the recreation and well-being of Sheboygan citizens. Road America at the nearby village of Elkhart Lake has become internationally famous as the scene of the championship national road races. Sports cars and drivers from all over the world center at Road America, including entrants from Sheboygan, to compete in these races, sponsored by the Sports Car Club of America. These speedy autos zoom over a four-mile gem-like path of asphalt that cuts through birch and willow belts in the beautiful Kettle Moraine landscape. Over a million dollars worth of such foreign beauties as Ferraris, Maseratis, Mercedes, Jaguars, Porsches, and Alfa Romeos come to Elkhart Lake for this big event. And then there is the game of golf, more typically American today than it ever was Scottish on the moors of St. Andrews. And Sheboygan's golfers are no less avid about it than are the devotees at Chicago's Tam O'Shanter. This is the course and other facilities at Sheboygan's Pine Hills Country Club. His fairways and greens rival those of any other course in the state of Wisconsin. Pine Hills is a private club. The city provides choice facilities for the public at the municipal golf course. Here, too, one will find golfers from all parts of the nation, vacationers who come to the area to enjoy Wisconsin sports and recreation as the playground of America. Another reason for Sheboygan's fast rates and reputation 
as the convention city of the state. Tennis courts are also provided by the city in the park and recreational system, as well as numerous other facilities and activities. But in Wisconsin, one doesn't golf or play tennis, go sailing or swimming all year. One of the big indoor sports in the winter months is bowling, provided in the city's recreational centers. We would now like to say a few well-chosen words on the subject of bratwurst. Bratwurst Day to Sheboygan is similar to Bastille Day in France or Guy Fawkes Day in England. Sheboygan is the bratwurst capital of the world, and every summer one day is set aside to pay homage to this delectable pork sausage. The J.C.'s run the show on this midsummer holiday, and all of Sheboygan turns out for it. And the cooks at the grills for this big public event are the top brass of government, of industry, of the civic set. They are also among the biggest consumers of this delicacy, including the mayor, the aldermen, the superintendents, and directors of the city. Another holdover from the Teutonic origins of Sheboygan citizenry, and the love of the good life, of good food and drink. While the custom may come naturally with the Schmitz, the Wagners, and the Schumanns, it has been happily adopted and perpetuated by the O'Reillys, the Levies, and the Pavelics of latter-day Sheboygan. Nobody knows for sure just who it was that invented Brockwurst in Sheboygan, and nobody cares much, so long as they can hold parades because of it, celebrate a holiday, and most particularly, eat it all year round. Well, it really doesn't matter much. But for the people of Sheboygan, the Bratwurst custom has come to symbolize the good things of the city, including comradeship and good neighborliness, as well as prosperity and advantages for the future of Sheboygan's children. So much for the Gemutlichkeit of Sheboygan. Our fine homes and schools, our parks and buildings, our material well-being, all of which means nothing to any community without the spiritual balance of religious life. For surely if Sheboygan can be called the city of homes, the city of elms, the city of wide street, who worship in 48 churches of all denominations, including the Protestant, the Catholic, and the Jewish faiths. A few years ago, when the city celebrated its 100th anniversary, the observation was inaugurated by a stirring demonstration of faith attended by almost 30,000 people in Volrath Bowl of all faiths. In the words of one of the presiding clergymen at this rally, may the celebration of a century of service for God and country be an inspiration to all of us to labor with renewal may usher in another century of even greater progress for the honor and glory of God, our country, and the salvation of souls. This, then, is our story of the city. A good place to live, to work, to build our homes, to raise our children, and to worship God, each in his own way, in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, USA.